Hi, welcome back to Bob's Woodshop. Well, in the last video, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, I dyed the, uh, dyed the case. I used three parts uh, light brown and one part orange water-based dye by General Finishes. And this is how the, uh, the dye job came out. And then I also, uh, I think in that video, I think I also did some assembly. And uh, it's completely glued together using hide glue. And it, it came out pretty good. Next, next thing to do on this is, is to do uh, several coats of, I think I'm going to use tongue oil. And then when that's good and hard and dry, then I'll spray it with some depth or, uh, or some kind of a shellac. But anyway, uh, the next step thing I wanted to do was uh, to make the OG bracket feet. So what I've done so far, let me move this out of the way. What I did was I found the, uh, the pattern that I needed to use for the OG feet, the profile pattern. And what I used was a program called Inkscape. I made a photocopy of it and then I put it into, I imported it into in Inkscape and I set a layer on top of that PDF and then I used the stylus, the pen on the pad, the little one I got and it uh, and then I just traced everything and then I sized it to the size, size that it had to be. And I think the actual drawing came right from the 1790 plans of the uh, feet and the, and the chest so everything would be proportionate. What I came up with was uh, uh, just a little piece of paper that I cut out and I used the reversed side um, and I cut it from this here so the, the actual profile is not there but part of it is. This part over here is uh, going to be cut out after uh, I shape the, the round profile. I took the, the profile away from that and the other side and I glued it to a scraper, a hand scraper and uh, this first one didn't come out right but I ended up coming up with this here so that it would fit right into that profile to, uh, to do the scraping. I'm going to try and get it a little closer but um, uh, there it is. I think that's it. So anyway, we got so the the mirror image to that piece is is this, and I'm going to use the hand scraper and scrape the whole thing to the right profile. So after I got this nice and uh, nice and flat and smooth, I took my my little round ceramic burnishing tool here or uh, ceramic knife sharpener or whatever you want to call it and uh, got the little grinding marks out. It didn't take very long at all and it, it gave me a nice profile nice and smooth and then I took the burnisher oh, there it is, <laughs> it's right next to me and then I put it in a, in a leg vise and burnished it to get a nice smooth edge almost like a, a chisel or, or a planer blade and still got a little bit of a, uh, a burr on there so that when I came in like this I'm getting a nice smooth nice smooth surface may not even need to sand it down it did such a good job so that'll get it down to the and I'm almost there all the way down to about about 22 24 inches about half of this uh, I've got it down to the to the profile that, that I need then I can uh, I'll measure it up and I'll take this other part of the profile and I'll lay that on the back the mirror image of that and um, and I'll paste take that there and then I can use uh, a scroll saw or a a bandsaw, an eighth inch blade, and cut that all out, or even a coping saw. So that's where we're at on this. Uh, so far it's taken, uh, I've got about 
about three or four hours into scraping this. So it's, it's a time consuming process, but uh, you know, they, they built these by hand back in the 1700s and I'm sure they had, you know, different contour chisel, uh, different contour uh, uh, planes, uh, you know, the wooden planes and, and it went a lot faster for them, but they still have to make the plane and, and, uh, and sharpen it sharpen the blade and everything for it so this is working and I think it's going to work out fine and once uh, once I glue up the two pieces to make the 45 if they don't match up exactly I can I can always use a little bit of sandpaper to to finesse it right into the into the perfect corner edge Okay, well, we've made a little more progress. Uh, let me show you how far along we've come. And it's been about, about an hour since, uh, since I last started this. So I've been working on it for about an hour. I've marked off the length of each piece that I need. And I need uh, four for the front and two for the back. Um, and I've got ample amount of uh, leftover from this one piece. So let me show you how, how that's coming and how I'm establishing how far I can go. What I've established is this one shoulder right here has to be 3 16 of an inch. So what I've done is I've set my marking gauge at 3 16 and I'm making a line right along that shoulder 3 16 of an inch which will be uh, coming out as well. Move it down the whole thing. All the way right down to the end. And I'm just about there. Maybe a, a thickness of a, a couple of shaving passes uh, will get me there. And I've marked it with a line, uh, with a pencil in that little bit of a line. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take down some more. The uh, the edge seems to be holding up pretty well on the scraper. So I guess I did a, a good job of shaping it and sharpening it. And I'll know that I'm deep enough when this saw curve disappears. And that's, I've got from about here, about half of it to go. And right now I'm tilting it so I can get a good bite on it to clean it off. But after I'll sharpen this one more time and then I'll try and stand it up a little bit more a little straighter to get the profile a little more accurate and hold it. So it's, it's coming along. Let me show the other end to you. Um, I got it a little a little bit better and I sanded it. So let me uh, let me swing around and so here's the other end where I've already done about halfway down and uh, as you can see right here there's a little bit of the the line left here around and, and that's okay if I can get it to what this is right here all the way down the whole thing that little that little eighth inch there won't make much difference although I'd like to get a little more profile down this way and uh, after I get the whole thing ran down I'll use my my uh, card scraper here as as a guide and I'll I'll do like like this here as you can see it's it's sitting a little bit hot whoops that's the wrong side sorry as you can see it's it's sitting just a little bit high so I need to remove a little bit down in this in this valley right here the full length of the uh, of the board 
So let me uh, let me get to scraping again, and uh, we'll show you that in a little bit more. Well, all the scraping is done now, and as you see here, I've cut the 45s, and I've cut the uh, the feet to length, <clears throat> and it came out pretty good. I don't, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of finessing that's going to be needed. Um, that, that little thin um, seam at the corner will will push together when, when it's glued, and, and that'll hold. Here's where I cheated. <laughs> I used a router bit profile that I have to make the molding that's going to sit on top of the OG feet to cover the um, the bottom of the case with up to the false bottom and a little bit of shaping I'll have to do to, to get that to fit in there seamlessly. In this next shot you'll see the uh, uh, the case sitting on the feet and as you can see there's uh, it's I forget what the dimension is from the bottom from the top of the foot to the bottom of the uh, false bottom on the case but uh, that should that should fit in there and and line up really perfect and uh, that'll look pretty good and we'll, we'll show you how that's working and uh, when that's done and we'll we'll do some of that process in the video next okay well thanks for watching and uh, if you haven't yet please hit subscribe and visit us on Facebook and also come and see my website it's uh, sandhillwoodworks.com okay thanks a lot well you take care happy woodworking